Do you have wood that you've been battling with for a while? Does it look rough with patches you don't feel comfortable with? If you've found yourself in any of these situations then don't worry as this video will guide you on the best tool to use. Most carpenters use hand planers in leveling and smoothing their wood. This may sound strange to you but here's the explanation. A hand planer is basically a mechanical tool designed solely for the cutting, flattening and shaping of wooden work to make it more appealing. Hand planers were traditionally created to be used with muscle power. However, as a result of rapid development and innovations in technology, there are hand planers that work automatically with electricity. The planer is more like a chisel but a bit different as a result of its blade design and sharpening accuracy. It consists of parts such as the lever cap, adjustment knob, tote, the frog and much more. If you choose smartly, a few palms will be enough to do most of the planing for you. Now, here's a list of what hand planers are used for. 1. Smoothing. This has always been the point and reason why this tool was created and why it is still useful in the modern world today. The planer is used to give your wooden work a smooth and polished surface. 2. Chamfering. Chamfering actually means making a cut on an edge or breaking sharp edges. It involves making a groove on something or cutting an edge of a wooden piece to produce an edgy corner. Basically, this is another function of the hand planer but it cannot give a perfect outlook except you are using a motor-powered electric planer. 3. Reducing size. Another use of the hand planer is for the reduction of the size of wood pieces. This involves the use of jack and scrub for leveling. Your hand planer can be used to level and give your wooden crafts equal sizes and edges all round. This gives it that perfect touch you desire. So, who are the users of a hand plane? It is important to know those who make use of hand planes to work. They include joiners, craftsmen, carpenters and cabinet makers. Joiners are similar to craftsmen who construct items such as wood and windows from wood. They carry out most of their duties in the workshop and also make good use of the hand planer. Carpenters do not mainly use the planer for making of crafts work but for the installation of wooden items that have already been made. They use hand planes on site to get wooden crafts like doors installed properly. A cabinet maker uses the hand planer too for all sorts of jobs but mostly for joining of wooden furniture. Safety precautions in using a hand planer. 1. Proper training. Although a planer is one of the practical tools for carpentry, you cannot use it to work without getting acquainted with the usage. When handled by inexperienced users, they produce cracks and cuts on the surface of the board. This mistake adds to the total length and outcome of the work. So, take out time to fully understand the active aspects of the machine and try to practice continuously. Doing this will help you master all you've previously learned with boards that are not in use in the workshop. 2. Fasten the wood with clamps, brackets, benches, or hooks before planing. 3. Keep the planer blade sharp and clean. You don't need to press too hard to get a good cut. It is advisable to hold the plane with your head facing down while applying small pressure on your insoles when planing. However, be careful not to let your fingers slip from the blade. 4. Make use of sandpaper to smoothen the sharp edges of the new layer so it will become comfortable to handle. 5. The planer should be at the appropriate height for your posture. A good number of hand plane users place their wood upward with the fingertips while standing and hang their hands straight. This is very wrong as you may hurt yourself. Having known all these, the next procedure for you is to start practicing with a board that is not in use. With time, planing will be much fun to you. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimplaners.com for more awesome planing content like this.